This weekend, Hamas started a war against Israel with the worst massacre of innocent civilians in Israel's history. Hamas was more barbaric and more brutal than ISIS. Let me be crystal clear. Israel will respond with determination and force to their unprovoked war crimes. Hamas murdered hundreds of Israelis, men, women and children, and took dozens hostage into Gaza. This horrific terror act demands a forceful, determined and sustained response, which is exactly what we are doing and continue to do. Our Air Force is attacking hundreds of Hamas Islamic Jihad targets in Gaza. We, we, we follow international law while exercising our right and responsibility to protect our civilians. The days ahead will be long and difficult. We have paid a heavy price, but we will restore security to the people of Israel. Let me repeat, we will store security to the people of Israel. Israeli intelligence indicates that Hamas are hiding among Gazan civilians inside Gazan homes and schools, hospitals and mosques. Hamas behaves like ISIS. I repeat, Hamas behaves like ISIS. It's the same strategy to maximize civilian casualties in Gaza and Israel and make you all forget the massacre of hundreds of Israelis that started this war in the first place. We will not forget. Hamas terrorists target Israeli civilians. Israel will target Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists wherever they will be in Gaza. We will do whatever it takes to, to protect our people and restore security to Israel. We are also looking to the north as well with full readiness and we are fully coordinated with CENTCOM. General Alevi had just finished a conversation with General Kurila and will keep con and will keep talking in the next hours again. Whom who are Texas in all over the Middle East will face a decisive attack back.